What is going on, Draw It To crew? Welcome to Draw It To. My name is Ramney, and this is another episode of How To Draw. Here in this channel, I help you develop your artistic skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from TV, movies, video games, comics, or books. So if this is your first time here and you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to click that notification bell icon so that you guys are notified anytime I upload a brand new tutorial video. Are you ready to draw? Here are the tools that you'll need. You'll need a pencil, an eraser, any type of white paper and black ink pens for inking afterwards. We all draw at different speeds, so as you're watching this tutorial, remember that you can pause this video at any time so that you can catch up on your drawings. And if you find that this video is still going way too fast, remember that you can always hit that speed button at the bottom right of this video to slow it down. Also keep in mind, one more thing, results will vary. So if your drawings look a little different than mine, that is completely, completely acceptable as well. So having said all of that, let's get right to the tutorial. Okay, you guys, so to get started with our Negan and Lucille tutorial, I've got my paper in landscape mode. What we're going to do is we're only going to be drawing um, up to mid torso, and we're gonna have the head right here. And of course, he's gonna have his elbow this way, and going, arm going up, and then he's gonna have Lucille over his shoulder. And of course, Lucille is his baseball bat with the barbed wire. That's what that is. So let's get started. I'm going to, um, I'm going to begin by drawing a circle here. About that big. Okay, and then he's gonna have his face. This is gonna be the center of his face going down. It's not quite straight. It kinda, it's kinda slanted this way, just ever so slightly. And it's also curved. Here's the side of the face. And here's the other side of the face right here. Here's here's the jaw going this way. Of course, because it's because of the angle, the jaw on this side isn't as prominent. So it only goes like that. Okay, so now I'm going to draw a neck, the neck going down. And right around here, underneath his chin, I'm going to sort of enclose the neck because he does wear a red or maroon scarf. So that's what that looks like. I'm gonna go back over here to the neck part and I'm just going to draw a pretty broad, pretty broad, almost a, well, that angle shoulder and over here is even more steep about 45 degrees like that okay let's find kind of where we're going to we're going to end his jacket his jacket is going to go right around around this point right here go back over here like this so that's going to be where his jacket starts and where his scarf ends there you go now here I'm going to draw a line like that. And then over here, I'm gonna start right around here. This is gonna be the lapel of the leather jacket. It's gonna come out this way. I'll leave that for now. What I'm going to do is, I shall make this less steep. Find the shoulder line. Here's the shoulder line right here. I'm just gonna bring it down to there. Okay, I'm gonna continue the shoulder on this side about that far. And then from there, I bring it down. It's about a good length. I, I sort of make this curve like this and then down like that. All right. Now I'm gonna find the, I'm gonna continue this line and let's find the zipper. Zipper right around here. This goes straight down and I double up on it. So make that line slightly thicker. I'm gonna bring it this way now. Okay, so it makes this corner over here, but of course, instead of a corner, what we're going to do is we're going to make a V going in like this. This goes like that. Round that off. And don't make it too straight. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of curve it naturally so that the zipper, so I'm gonna double this, and that's going to be the zipper line. Let me zoom in on that. So here's the zipper and it goes into this zipper right here. Okay, here's a little button, another button right here in the corner. The seam, I'm going to double up on those lines to create those seams, because that's kind of what leather jackets have. So that's supposed to have three lines right there. It looks a little messy, forgive me you guys. 
There you go. This goes to the back, or it goes above the shoulder and goes around, and it comes out over here. Now, we have this point. Keep that point right here. Let's go over here now. Oops, I missed all that, sorry. So yeah, the leather jacket goes around the back here and goes to the other side, and it comes down over here. Now from here, draw a line, a tiny little line going this way, and then this goes in like that. Now this line right here is actually the V shape, such as this. Now don't make those corners too sharp. Bring this in. Double up on the seams. Button on the corner, little button on the corner here. And there you go. I just drew that wrinkle and then there's one wrinkle right there. I'll leave it like that for now. Maybe, maybe one more over here. There you go. We're good. Now, on this side, on the shoulder, we're just going to find the, the seam that runs down the shoulder here. It kind of does that. Now at this point, you guys want to make sure that your your um, your chest isn't too big. So zoom out. I'm zooming out now, and I'm finding that I feel like my chest is a little too far this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink, shrink it. I'm going to make it smaller. I'm actually going to bring this line closer to this line, and yeah, just like that. No big deal. I just moved it slightly. There you go. Okay. Line coming down over here. And then a zipper, a zipper pocket. I'm gonna draw a rectangle, a line going through that rectangle. And then the zipper handle. It's gonna be a triangle or a rectangle with two circles, one down here and one up here. And that's that is two more lines up at the top and the bottom. And there you go. I feel like we've already got the jacket. We haven't even figured out how to do the the face or the rest. So let's zoom out and let's focus on getting the, um, the bat and the hand in the proper placement. Okay, so this is gonna be the tricky part. The, the hand or the arm. So, I just took my pencil. I'm just going to do this lightly for now and find the top and the bottom of the arm. It's gonna look like that, okay? And then right around here, we're gonna have the, the hand of the arm bending. Here's the elbow right around here, going out this way, okay? But when it goes out this way, what we need to worry about is the arm kind of being over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a, a rectangle or a square right around here. And what it's supposed to look like is the arm coming out this way with the jacket sort of going out off to the side like this. Okay, so that's sort of the illusion that I want. And at the same time, you want to make the arm not too short. I'm trying to foreshorten it because it is farther away from you. It's supposed to look smaller, but then if you draw it too small, it just looks kind of weird. So you want to make sure that you've got that figured out as well. And forgive me, I should have... Um, actually, this is one of the instances in which I didn't make a reference drawing at first. I just went straight into the tutorial. Okay, there you go. Imagine a thumb right here. Now Lucille is going to go from here. Now this is also where you gotta be careful because you wanna make sure that um, you've got a straight line from here going all the way to there, okay? That's where you want the bat to go. And if you have that, you can sort of start placing where the bat is gonna go. And the bat, you gotta be careful. Start, start with the center line first. Of course it gets thin over here initially, 
and you want to make sure that it's symmetrical. It starts to gradually get bigger. And then it slopes right here and becomes a straight line right here and here. Make sure they're equal distance from the center, right? And then right around here is where we're going to end. Where we're going to end it. And there you go. Okay. So we've got that, you guys. Let's um, zoom into the arm and let's add some more details to the arm here. Let's um, add some creases and wrinkles. So that it's not just straight across. So leather, leather kind of makes these wavy lines here as well. There you go. Now he's going to have like a, a seam going down here. And then that seam sort of runs up the top this way. But before, you know what, let's get that figured out first. Over here, what I want to do is I actually want to... I want to make it so that he's got a zipper right here that's half open. So here you go, that's what that looks like. And then this goes down, okay, it follows that seam, and then just wrinkles going down this way, like that. Double up on that, this goes down like this, a little zipper part, and right here another zipper part right there. Zipper handle, circles inside. Another seam going down this way. Here's the other side. Here's that seam. And there you go, I think that's fine. Okay, so there you go. Over here, of course, imagine this going on the other side as well. So, of course it's narrower because of because it's foreshortened, that's what it looks like. Okay, line going through, zipper, zipper handle over here, two circles inside, zipper teeth. Actually, no, he does not have that line. Sorry about that. My eyes are playing tricks on me. So there you go, that's essentially the, the jacket. Well, we've got a couple more things actually. This goes like that. So we're essentially just working on the jacket now. He's got a big zipper right here. I'm gonna draw a rectangle first. And then a smaller, thinner rectangle coming out of that. I'm making this one bigger than these two, just to show that it's the main zipper. And From here comes out like this. Curve those lines. Let's go up here and work on the scarf. Just imagine fabric folding in on itself. So just create a whole bunch of folds like that. This goes this way. This goes like this in here. And maybe that. Oh my goodness going off camera here. Today is not a very good day for me, <laughs> it seems. I hope you guys caught all that. So that's what it looks like. Let me zoom out so I don't miss any more things. So that's what that looks like. I erased this over here because I'm creating that. I really don't know what it's called on a jacket. I should find out. Anyway, one of these things. I don't know if they really serve a purpose, but it does have like a little arrow point like that. But you guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> if you guys know what this is called on a jacket, let me know because I really don't. Okay. And then the same thing over here, but you don't really see it. So I'm just going to create a bump where it's supposed to go right there. So we're pretty much done with the jacket here. Let's move on to, well, let's move on to the, should we draw the hand first? 
let me erase some of the bat, clean this up a bit. Yeah, let's let's draw Negan's Negan's face first. Let's do that. Okay, so here, here's the shape that we have. We're gonna be drawing more hair, I think, so we're not gonna worry about that. First thing is let's figure out where the eye line is going to be. Eye line's gonna be right here. Okay. The jaw. Jaw so goes up here. And then the ear kind of goes from the eye line into that part of the jaw. I drew it. Yeah, it's a little big, but you know what? That's fine. There. Okay. So imagine this is going to be where his um, sideburns are going to go. Now let's draw the inside of the ear. Let's draw the top curve first, starting with this little ear bump. Top curve. Two curves going this way. That's how I usually like to draw the ear. Now this goes like that. And one more down here. Fairly simple ear. Nothing too fancy. Okay, so here are the sideburns. Now let's draw Negan. His nose comes out this way. And then create. So from the center, goes out like that. And then a little dip like this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create um, an oval right there. And one more on the other side of this. But it's going to be touching this little, um, the, this part of the nose. So here's one line. And then I bring it in. Here's one oval for the nostril. And the other nostril is going to be touching this line. Okay, sides of the nose, one there, and one over here. Now, as always, I like to mention this all the time. It, if it looks nothing like Jeffrey Dean Morgan, who is the actor playing Negan in um, The Walking Dead, then uh, don't worry. It's not about looking like the actor, right? Because even in the comics, he, he's drawn differently. Okay, bushy eyebrows. Let's make that bushy straight eyebrows with a slight curve to it so it does look like he's got that angry scowl. Slight curve as in it looks like this. Here's the other eyebrow on this side. There you go. His face looks a little bubbly right now. He's got big cheeks but yeah we're gonna we're going to shave that off. Let's draw the top of the eye. And then the bottom of the eye is, like, is more straight. And let's go to the other side right here. Top of the eye is more curved than the bottom of the eye. More straight down at the bottom. Good. It's got wrinkles. The nose wrinkles right here. And then this goes in and comes back out for the cheekbones. Cheekbone comes out and it goes in like this. up, find the forehead, here's the forehead right here, goes across, I'm going to erase the top of the head. Now right around here, kind of find this point and then move up from there and make a line like this and this goes into the sideburns and then it goes up into the hairline. There you go. So that's what that looks like. <coughs> Excuse me. We're gonna have him looking to this way, to our right. So moving the pupils closer to the right side. Okay. Half circles, half circles, inside those half circles, like that. Make sure you don't draw it cross-eyed. He kind of does look cross-eyed in this one. 
might have to adjust it. I'll probably adjust it during the inking part. Some bags under the eyes, make it look old. There. Of course, the season seven mustache. Right here. Okay. I'm going to draw a line for the mouth. A bit of a smirk, so I'm going to bring this up slightly in the corner. Okay, you don't really see the top of the mouth there because it's covered by the mustache, but you do see the bottom. So here's the bottom. The mouth. There you go. And just work on the beard and the mustache. Starting with the mustache first. So this is where it starts to look like Megan from The Walking Dead. Is when you start adding in the, the facial hair. There you go. In there. He does have a little bit of a scar right here. And it's got a pretty well trimmed beard. And I'm just going to draw small, thin lines, showing it, sh it shows the, um, what do you call it, of the hair, kind of how the hair flows. There you go. Sort of fades away over here. to get thicker as you go down so I'll probably do that more in the inking stage here here kind of underneath the mouth it shouldn't be too thick so don't draw that too thick make it thicker as you go down same thing up here it gets darker as you go down there now let's do the hair slick back a little bit on the side I'm gonna erase this line now. Make sure that when you when you look at the hairline, it's not weird looking. That one looks a little bit weird. I'm gonna fix that. And then it just slick back like this. His hair goes back this way, and then at the top here, I'm just going to draw, <clears throat> excuse me, not all of the strands, but just, just a few. Try to get that slick back look, especially on this side. You don't see much of the ear, so I'm going to ignore the ear. And then I'm just going to draw a line going down this way for the neck. Fix up the eyebrows. A couple of light, light wrinkles. Some lines coming out of the bags. And of course, you guys, this is from the TV show Naked, right? Um, that goes without saying. There you go. That's the face. The face of sadism. The face of control and tyranny. Anyway, let's go over here to the hand. So we're what, how we left it, I'm going to... We left it like this, right? Left it with a rectangle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this side of that rectangle and kind of 
make a hand come out and hold on to the bat. So here's the bottom of the hand, like this part. Divide this, it's gonna be this way and this way. This is going to be the, the thumb muscle. Now I'm gonna divide the fingers, kinda of just figure out where they're gonna go. So it looks like that, another line above it. And so the fingers are gonna go in this way and this way and this way. But you guys keep in mind, sorry, I wasn't, keep in mind where the bat is supposed to go. So here's the bat, right? He's supposed to be holding onto the bat. So you wanna make sure that his fingers are actually gripping the bat. There you go. So I did the bottom, top, knuckle, 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 right there. Here's the thumb, it's gonna go over here. And then here's draw like that. And then here's a little bit of the thumb muscle, like this part. And then here's the thumb muscle itself. Of course, you guys, he'll be wearing his leather, black leather glove here. His batting glove, I guess. Now the pinky sort of wraps itself around the bat. So here's the bat coming out and here's the pinky kind of going this way and then down over here. up a little bit more draw the knuckles a little bit lower I'm just adjusting things you guys next time I'm not gonna I'll make sure to draw Nagin first before I actually get started with the tutorial I'm gonna practice drawing him first here you go just keep working on it until you get a nice arm okay of course this is all gonna be covered with a glove this is all part of the glove Okay, here's the jacket, it comes out like that. Here's the end of the bat. The end of the bat does have an oval. And it looks like that, and then it comes out this way. There you go, so there's Negan. Negan, Negan. Now let's draw Lucille. Well, Lucille is probably the easiest character, I mean, thing. You could draw a couple of cracks in a, on Lucille, like that of um, dings. Now the barbed wire itself is going to start off right around here just behind him so I can start drawing the barbed wire behind the neck and then here is sort of where it starts to all come together. So I'm going to draw a series of lines going back and forth no rhyme or reason, you guys. Kind of just random lines. Going from one side of the bat to the other side. There you go. Don't make it uniform. You want to make sure that this is all kind of random. Okay, so I drew a series of lines. It just looks like that. wrapping around this bat. Now to draw the, you wanna make sure that these lines kind of go beyond the bat, so I'm making them kind of stick out sharply, this way and this way. And what you wanna do is you wanna, for the barbed wire, what you want to do is, I'm gonna draw three, just notice that I drew like three little grains of rice one side I'm gonna draw out like this and the other side is gonna come out like that. Okay, so if I do that again over here, it's gonna look like this. One, two, three, and it's gonna come out. One little spiky part comes out this way and then the other spiky part comes out this way. So that's how I'm going to draw the, the barbed wire. And then I'm just going to be random about where I'm going to place it. 
And of course you can do it the other way too, where you can have the spikes going out this way and this way instead. So it looks like that, that's fine. And I'm just drawing it randomly. And there you go. And of course, on the side. Once you have that, it shouldn't have been as hard. <laughs> I didn't think that this was going to take, this tutorial was going to take forever. It did, because I was a little less prepared for it, and I apologize for that. But anyway, you guys, if you manage to follow all the way through, then here we do, here we are. We have Negan from the Walking Dead series, and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And that is all the time that we have for this tutorial video. Thank you for watching all the way to the very end. If you are proud of your drawings, I would love to see them. So there's three different ways that you can send your drawings my way. Number one, you can post it in the Google Plus community for me to see and for everybody else in the community to see. You can also post it on Instagram and tag me, or you can email it to me at drawto at gmail.com. I look forward to seeing all of your artwork. Now, if you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a kit.com link down in the description below. Make sure to check it out and find out what I use to run this YouTube channel. Now, what you see right here is me inking this artwork. If you want to see a longer version of this inking process, make sure to head on over to patreon.com slash draw it to to become one of my patrons. This is one of the perks that you get and uh, if you guys do want to support this channel even more, yeah, make sure to head on over to patreon.com. There's different rewards that you will receive if you do decide to um, support me through Patreon. If you're curious about other ways to support this channel and to keep it sustainable, I have merchandise that you can purchase such as t-shirts, mugs, and mouse pads. And you can also buy some of my art prints in my art store, my online art store at draw2.storeenvy.com. Be sure to check out my art store often because I regularly post brand new stuff that is available for you guys to purchase. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you guys liked this video, commented below, or shared this with your friends in your social media. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, Instagram, Google+, and on my website draw2.com where you can download a whole bunch of coloring pages from the tutorials that are found in this channel. Finally, before I go, I want to say thank you to these lovely people who have decided to become my patrons. And yes, thank you so much to all of you. And thank you for watching. And as always, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. I'll see you guys in my next video.